Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy. Today we're going to see uh, the labels within surfaces. So before we have seen how to use labels for uh, point styles and things like that. So now we're going to see how to use different labels within a surface. So now there is no predefined surface style that you should have. So contours are a bit more easier on the eyes, uh, whereas triangles are a bit harsher. So um, I prefer the contours for design and the triangles for uh, the editing work on the surface. So now I have just kept it into, I think this is two million total contours. So I'm gonna select the surface and then you get the ribbon on the top, which is specific to the surface. So now I go to the option that says add labels drop down, click on that. You get a whole bunch of options here. So the first option is basically brings a dialog box and then it has all the other options. Okay. So you can click on the other options. It straight away take you to that option and then you can put the uh, labels in there. So now first one we're going to use it is a slope. So this slope is actually there is two point slope and one point slope. One point slope is on a given specific point which way the slope is. And then if I go to slope again and then if I pick on two point slope between those two selected points which way it is sloping. So that is the slope labels. Then spot elevations easy. You just pick a location and then click and then it gives a spot elevation and then spot elevation on the grid. Uh, this is one command you got to take it a bit easier. So what it does is it actually lets you pick one uh, top left, sorry, lower left corner and top right corner like a rectangle and then it creates a, you know, spot elevation throughout it. So let's do it for a small section, spot elevation on grid. Ask for a grid base point. So I'm going to click this one. And then the grid rotation, so I'm going to keep it zero. And then the uh, X spacing, let's put it as uh, five. Y is five. <coughs> and then specify the upper location of the grid. So I'm going to specify it uh, here. So that is going to be the bounding box for the grid. Uh, if you're happy, okay, you want to change it. Once you're happy, press enter. Takes a while. And then you can see the levels on the grid. Okay, so this, if you do it for the entire surface, if you can imagine, it's going to take a while. So it's a uh, process inten intensive. So I'm going to select one of them, right click, select similar, and then get rid of them. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So this one is going to be, um, so we have seen the grid contour single. So this one you can select it and then you can go to the contour lines and then you click anywhere you want it on the contour lines. Make sure that you turn on the snap and uh, so then you should be able to get the elevations on the contours. And the next one is a contour multiple. It's a really lovely tool. You can just drag lines and then it creates elevations on those lines. Okay, and then the next one, I'm gonna select the surface and then I'm gonna click on contour multiple at interval. So this is a really, really useful guys yeah, because these things I used to use it in AutoCAD several years ago and some of these things I create a script and then some of these things I, you know, a lot of people use these things manually and takes so much time. So now let's say if I pick on location right here and then the interval 25 meters, okay. And then what it does is it actually creates these uh, contour labels at interval of 25 meters and they need for the throughout the length of the contours. So it's like pretty nice. It does it all automatically. So you don't have to do it manually. All right. So getting rid of that. And that's all the labels. If I go to the first option now, add surface labels, it shows a prompt and then it chooses, let's say first I'm going to create a surface label and then it shows the label types here. And then you can click on this button here, which takes you to the command settings and uh, where you can configure what is the default interval you wanted, the units, uh, the type, of the precision, everything. You can you can update all that. And this is the style it is using to create that particular label. So let's say this is creating a slope. If I want to change to precision, uh, it always shows it downstream. So that means when you click on this one, add a label, it shows one point. Uh, if Whichever the way the downstream is, it shows the downstream values. Okay, so similarly, you know, you can go to uh, choose any of the styles and then uh, you can update those uh, style settings as well. So some of these things are, uh, if you see, if you have played around with the AutoCAD Civil 3D styles, you know how these things work. Uh, the slope is just one single object. If I try to edit it, 
I'll show you how this one looks like. If you go to layout, you can see there is two components within one style. One is the arrow, and another one is the value that goes on top of the arrow. And then if you go into some of the other styles, let's say if I choose uh, elevations, so the elevations will have two things. One is the marker, and another one is the elevation value so even this one you can keep it as one style it doesn't have to be two styles but since civil 3d has given these options as two two label styles you know we can we can keep the marker in one and then the label in another one and then if you go to on the grid same as the other elevations and then single so what happens is your contours comes with the major contour minor contour and then user contour labels user contours as well so whenever there is a table that goes on a major contour it goes into this style so that means I can edit it I can say um, let's say this one uh, I want it in blue color okay so let's say if I try to add it See, that's a major contour and that's a minor contour. So every time there is a major contour, so the label color will be blue. And similarly, you can update uh, the color font. You can add a symbol to it, block to it, whatever you want to do, you can do it. Same will be for the multiple and then the multiple at interval. You can customize those styles as well. All right, so that's about civil 3d labels and um, if you have any questions just let me know uh, if you like these uh, videos just subscribe to the channel and uh, share it with your friends as well so it just motivate us uh, us to do a bit more videos all right thanks guys